We were a little discouraged because we had good media coverage prior to this event of the fine. We were in 36 publications, New York Times, the Daily Mail, a couple German outfits came out, Galileo. But they looked at it like, oh, this is like a feel good story about yeah. what could be there. And uh, it was probably not. Uh, there was a scene of this guy doing an interview at the museum. And he's like, oh, out a bow tie. Oh, there's nothing there. Like, we'll never find real, anything. Real snarky. And then we did. And then we found it. And then all the media snark, coverage the stopped. The snarky fucks always lose. Just so you know, yeah, but all media silence. The media Nobody went away. Chapters again for media is story. silence about a lot of things. And then we found today, we found a piece a tusk, and it was our 73rd. How did you prove it was a tusk? I know you have a, a, a so on our fine crew, lady on your team. Yeah, on our crew, we have an anthropologist who minored focus in focus on uh, archaeology. Archaeology. She's also a diver with us. And then forward. we called John Reeds himself, who has collected over 150,000 specimens, and his children, as they dubbed, are master boners. And then he is a super boner. That's right. A yeah. term that they've they've coined. 50,000 bones or more, or something like that. So he. That's boner. why we dubbed the name boner divers. 